Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today we're going to be installing a sink drain assembly on a kitchen sink. I, I have my sink sitting out here in the middle of the room so I can flip it over and show you how to do the bottom side. Uh, the drain assembly has several pieces to it. Uh, the stopper, you won't need it right now, so you can set it off to the side. Uh, you can leave the pipe attachments on the bottom of there, and you can remove the screw ring. This is what will hold it on to the bottom of the faucet. Behind the screw ring, there are two other rings. The rubber one is the one that seals up to the bottom of the sink, and the cardboard one is not trash. You do need this. This is called a slip ring, and it will allow that screw ring to slide on there so you can tighten that rubber on without binding up the rubber. So the first step to installing your new drain assembly is to get some plumber's putty and to make a Play-Doh snake to go around the drain like so. I'm gonna make sure it goes all the way around and it's okay to have extra, it'll just squish it out um, after you tighten it down and you can clean it off after. So you're gonna make your Play-Doh snake, smash it down on there a little bit and you're gonna place your drain assembly in the hole and push it down on there as good as you can Now normally you're going to do the rest of this from the bottom side of the sink, but since I don't have my sink attached, I'm going to flip it over to make it a little easier to see. Okay, to tighten this on, you're going to put your rubber ring on, then you're going to put your slip ring, and then you're going to put the screw-on ring. Now these screw-on rings, they sell a special type of wrench for these. Uh, I don't have one of those. If you're going to be doing a bunch of these, it would be nice to have the special wrench for this. I am going to use a claw hammer. You can use anything that can get you a grip on one of these little tabs. I'll show you how I'm going to do it with the hammer once I get it tightened down on there a little bit. Okay, once it starts getting snug, I'm going to hook the claw over one of those tabs and just kind of spin it like that. definitely be easier with the right wrench, but I don't have one. Once you get it tightened on there all the way, you go up to the top of the sink and you're going to clean off all the excess putty that's smashed out through the top. So you clean all that off and then you'll be ready to hook up your P-trap down below. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button down below.